In this segment, we're going to look at how to log into D2L in our uh, MGF 1107 classroom, as well as log into My Math Lab Plus for the first time. So we're going to go log into D2L. We're going to go into our MGF 1107 classroom. Your reference number may be different, but it should still say Survey of Math Online. You'll see on the left any announcements that your professor has given you. And in the center, it says Start Here, Must Be Completed Before Drop Add. It says start here, must be completed before drop add. And then you have two options. If you have previously completed the orientation to BC Online, then all you need to do in this folder is to click on the orientation certificate. And then you're going to upload your orientation certificate by clicking Add Attachments and upload it. If you have not previously used BC Online, then you're going to have to complete these other steps, including the orientation quiz, then save your orientation certificate and upload it. Let's go back to our course homepage. So going back into the Start Here folder, instead of starting in the Orientation to BC Online, I'm going to start in the Course Orientation. This has to be completed before Drop Add. When you're going through your D2L course, you should go page by page. So you're going to start with, in this case, the welcome letter, read some information from your professor, If you arrow to the right at the top, you can get to the syllabus. In your course syllabus, you're going to find a description of the course, your instructor's contact information, all the class activities and assignments, and a general outline of the course, as well as your grading system. We have the topics that will be covered, the learning materials that you're going to use, the reading and video assignments as well as the worked assignments. In this course we'll be using the My Math Lab Plus study plans you see here on the right which study plans you're going to be working on and so on. At the top of this table we have the orientation. So the first few days of the course up to a week depending on whether it's a 6, 8, 12, or 16 week course, we have to complete the orientation and that's what we're talking about right now. So going to the next page after the syllabus, we can take the syllabus quiz. It's not a bad idea to either open the syllabus in another page or print it out and then you can complete the syllabus quiz. You can take it unlimited times, so if you get any of the questions wrong, you can go back and fix that. Okay, the next page is instructing you on how to log into My Math Lab Plus. Okay, so in order to register for My Math Lab Plus, we need to click on the link. I right-clicked on the link and open it in a new page. For those of you who may have used this system before, there are some tips on what's changed. I'm going to close that. You have to accept the license agreement. And then you have three options. You, you can enter an access code that you've already purchased at the bookstore. You can buy an access code right now using a credit card, or you can choose to pay later. I'm going to choose the pay later option. You can see that it gives you temporary access for 14 days. I'm going to click Next, and it says you have temporary access. We can now return to our course and see what kind of work we have. Okay, so there's our My Math Lab Plus course. The assignments that are showing right here are the ones that are due soon, but you can look at all of the assignments for the whole semester by clicking on MGF 1107 Assignments. And then what happens is, is on the left there's a menu that opens up here and you see all the units going down. So starting with Unit 12, we're actually going to work Chapter 12 and then go back to Chapter 7. Um, we'll skip Chapter 8 then we'll do 9, 10, and 11. So starting with Chapter 12, Unit 12, if I click on it, then I see an overview of what's to be covered. But to actually get to the study, the work, the videos, and the study plan, the easiest way is just click on sections 12.1 through 12.3. And then this page is explaining what to work through in chapter 12. 
So we need to read our e-text. We need to watch our videos. There are my Math Lab Plus videos for 12.1, 12.2. And really, you should look at the e-text and the videos prior to study, starting your study plan. It's tempting to start the study plan first and go back and look as you need to. But in fact, you end up spending a lot more time on the study plan when you work it in that order. After you have read the e-text, watched the D2L videos, read, uh, completed the reading and lecture video quiz, then watched the My Math Lab Plus videos, at least for one of the sections, then you're ready to start the study plan. Let's click on e-text first. So I'm opening up 12.1. So whether or not you have a paper copy of the book, everything identical to the paper copy is here. Scroll down and we see rational numbers and decimal representation. This is kind of a review chapter that we're starting with. Um, by the way, there are also videos in D2L. Um, there's a reminder here that you should watch those and take notes on those as well. And those, you will also have a reading and lecture video quiz in D2L, which you should complete. I'll show you that in a minute. Say I've read through 12.1 and now I want to watch the videos, they would be located here. And you would push play and watch the video. After you have read the e-text, watched the D2L videos, read, uh, completed the reading and lecture video quiz, then watched the My Math Lab Plus videos, um, at least for one of the sections, then you're ready to start the study plan. The study plan is just practice that prepares you for the quiz. Your study plan is not graded, but you can't take the quiz until you complete mastery of the study plan. The way that you earn mastery points is to do the quiz me questions. So for example, in 12.1, the first topic is understand integers and rational numbers. You can practice that to get an idea of what it is. If you click practice, so you're going to see several practice problems of that type covering that topic. It varies how many, in this case three. You can click the number to go from one to the other. You will notice in the upper right corner that it indicates which chapter and section and item number it corresponds to in the paper version of the book and in the ebook. That's how you practice. You do not have to complete all the practice though. You can go straight to the quiz me. Okay, and you would say I'm ready to start and you would take your quiz. Now, the quiz me you have to get at least 75% to pass. If you fail the quiz me too many times, it's gonna make you go back and at least do a couple, uh, at least one practice question before you can open it again. So keep that in mind. It may seem locked. All you have to do is work one practice question. When you do work the practice questions though, there are resources to help you. Off to the side, there will be resources. It depends on the type of question, how many resources you have. In this case, it will link you to the textbook to where the topic is covered. You can also send an Ask My Instructor email. Keep in mind that Ask My Instructor emails go to your professor's direct email account at Broward College, and when your professor responds, it's going to send the response not to your D2L email, but to your student official BC student email. Let's open another one to see some of the other tools. Okay, so in this question, which is more of a computational question, there is a help me solve this. You can also view an example different from the one that's showing on the screen. You can open your textbook or you can ask my instructor. Sometimes it has a link to a video as well. You can go back and complete your quiz me's. And once you've completed all of them, and so you've earned all of your mastery points, then you're ready to take your quiz for section 12.1 through 12.3. And so you've earned all of your mastery points. Then you're ready to take your quiz for section 12.1 through 12.3. So go back to the overview for sections 12.1 through 12.3 assignments and select section 12.1 through 12.3 quiz. Notice this is step four, the last step in my math lab for this section. This brings us to the assignment section of my math lab. And here you'll see your study plan and your quiz. The study plan is not complete. That means that your quiz is not available to you. 
This little green flag tells you that there's something you have to do in order to unlock the assignment. In this case, we have to um, complete the study plan for section 12.1 through 12.3. Now, keep in mind that in order to complete the entire study plan is going to take time. You don't want to wait until the last minute because then you won't be able to unlock your quiz and it's the quiz that you get a grade for. Okay, off to the left here is a reminder that in D2L there is a graded discussion and you want to participate in that early. You don't want to wait until the last day. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to go back to the menu here. You can see that there's also a reminder that after Unit 7, we have our first proctored exam scheduled. There are three proctored exams. Okay, so that's my Math Lab Plus in a nutshell. You, can, uh, you should feel free to explore to see if there's anything else in there useful to you. Now I'm going to go back to our D2L classroom back to the start here course orientation folder you see we've talked about the welcome letter the syllabus the syllabus quiz the my math lab information and the link to my math lab plus